coming along uh, just nicely here. Finally, looks like uh, they just have one person to get ready. One person was holding things up last time I checked. And everybody's doing the demo drop right now. They're uh, dropping and coming back to start their demos. Um, let's see. It looks like they should start pretty soon here. I mean, they were saying that they were getting ready. That's why I came out of the music like I did. But um, they just got the one person that's holding things up. And there we go. We finally got uh, the person to ready up. Match will start in 30 seconds. We got 25 seconds countdown here. Uh, finally, so we're about to get underway on the second map here of the United States East versus England attack, match. Attack uh, right now range. we're looking at each team uh, the, with the scores earlier on the Snowblind map. It was 3-2, to two, the United States East. So let's see if uh, England can uh, pull out a, a, a win here. And if they can, they'll have to do it by more than one, I believe, in order to uh, not force a tie. Uh, because that would then, of course, mean that you know they would tie in the... the Final score would be based on uh, who had um, how many points in each map. So I'm getting a lot of lag here for some reason. But, um, okay, whoa, Acknowledge. what the hell is going on? Why the hell is it lagging so badly? <laughs> this is this should not be happening. Um, let's see. I really messed up. I don't know what the hell. Maybe it's just my tribe's client. But, uh, okay, anyways, the, uh, the flags are still in the, uh, bases, respectively. Um, nobody has, uh, managed to get the base, uh, or get the flag. Uh, the bases are pretty much offline already. The, uh, England flag is, uh, offline. And, um, well, I hope I'm getting the, the, the teams right here. Uh, I can't tell exactly, uh, which team is which, uh, yet. But, um, looks like, uh, Juji already has the England flag. Um, I'm sure he's uh, just about capped it um, already. Oh, well, let's see. He's uh, running around in a heavy right now with the flag. So, um, that was pretty uh, amazing. Uh, so the flag, it looks like uh, the uh, Diamond Sword side is the, uh, the U.S. side here on this map. So, um, they have, uh, the flag right now has been taken and is being run back to the, uh, the other base. Um, I guess the Blood Eagle base by Heavy, but he just hit the, uh, a bad ski jump there and uh, basically committed suicide by doing so, by getting stuck in the, uh, in the ski there, and uh, the flag gets returned. So right now, we both have the flags are at each other's uh, bases. Uh, nobody has captured the flag yet, and we have about 23 uh, minutes remaining in the match. So going back up here, look at this base. I really need a play more tribes. I really don't play actually a lot, but uh, I, uh, I really just don't. And I'm trying to figure out what base is what, and I can't tell because I'm in stupid soccer mode, and I can't. Okay, they just uh, tried to catch the flag there. They had it in their base, um, actually, and they still do. They have uh, Heavy trying to get out with it right now, and um, the uh, light actually ends up taking it out, but uh, it gets gunned down in front of their base. So uh, it's just sitting there right now. Nobody has returned it yet. Um, and uh, I can't tell if he's guarding it. He finally returns it. Okay, there he goes. So the um, let's see what we got here. Okay. Anyways, so the uh, right now England has the United States flag and uh, is running it back. And uh, Juju grabs the, uh, the England flag as well. So right now both teams have their respective flags, although the... Uh, the, um, well, the United States East flag was uh, just returned to their base, okay. And the England flag was returned to the base as well. I swear, this, this map always goes so fast and it's always so chaotic. This is probably got to be one of the most hard, the hardest uh, maps to broadcast on because everything just happens so quickly that uh, I can't even really figure out what's going on myself, let alone the players themselves. You just sort of go about it uh, just sort of haphazardly. Okay, right now, um, uh, Neil, uh, uh, nearly, that's who it is, uh, nearly for England has the, uh, the flag. Oh, and it just got returned, um, to the, uh, the United States base, and the England flag is actually dropped sitting right next to the stand, and they finally return it. And right as they return it, it gets grabbed by, uh, uh, U.S. East, uh, SSX. I believe that is, um, I don't know who that is. I want to say somebody, but I don't want to be wrong either. 
So he's running it back to his base right now, and it looks like they may have their first cap on their hands here. Um, he's trying to, to get there. He gets chained down. Oh, and he, oh, let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they actually got chained down right in front of their base, and they end up capping it finally. So, um, looks like uh, the score is... Oh, the score is actually three to nothing. I can't believe I haven't been paying attention enough to, to see that. Okay, so the score is actually three to nothing. Uh, United States East. They've capped three times. I have missed all two of the caps except for that last one. And uh, the United States uh, it just got their flag taken but returned again. So, man, this is intense. <laughs> okay. Both bases are completely offline. The inventory station is down, of course. The uh, uh, the turret is down. Um, the inventory station in the rear, it's down too. Surprisingly, I mean, really, I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, this map, everything is always down. And uh, the uh, England has the flag again. Uh, this time with a heavy, uh, but he ends up getting uh, mowed down right in front of their base. Uh, he doesn't even get like you know two shakes away from the base in order to uh, try to cap the flag. It is just so amazingly intense in this, and let's double check the score. It is still 3 to nothing with about 19 minutes left, but I doubt it seriously if this match is going to go the full, full time limit at all. They finally, uh, England finally has a heavy flag sitter with a shield pack uh, guarding that flag. Um, <laughs> That was too funny. One of the uh, U.S. players came in and got shot down by one turret blast, and it just seemed uh, a little pathetic. But, uh, you know, it happens, of course. Uh, I'm not saying that the United States East or anybody is pathetic, just that it just seemed that way to me. Anyways, don't want to offend anybody, of course. Uh, I learned that last night. Uh, very easy to offend people, it seems. So, uh, they actually have uh, turrets up, uh, a lot of turrets up, actually, on the United okay, States side. Okay. Um, or uh, the England side, actually, I think. Um, I can't tell who who. Uh, <laughs> oh, this sucks. So, anyways, they have uh, actually a plasma, a uh, deployable plasma turret right next to their actual plasma turret, and another turret up top, as well as um, turrets inside. They seem to be deploying pretty rapidly. Their inventory station is up inside, and uh, right now it looks like it's pretty much a stalemate at, well, stalemate in regards to nobody's capturing the flag. Um, for either team right now, it is three nothing. Um, I can't tell exactly if they've gone defensive on the United States side, being that they're three up. But um, let's see. They just had a heavy try to cap the flag, and he gets. Uh, he's still got the flag. He's still running it up the the east side there, and he gets. Man, he got swarmed by about. Uh, this there's a swarm of about at least ten people here in the midfield, uh, chewing this guy down, uh, and fighting over the flag uh, for both sides. Um, man, that I've never seen that many people go at it at once like that. So right now we got somebody uh, coming back in with the flag, lights running around, trying to uh, stay alive. He's being pursued by quite a few people. Um, he's trying to hide uh, in order to uh, you know retain that flag because the worst place you can be is inside the the dangerous crossing space. For everybody knows that for sure. So and he just caps it. Looks like yes, the United States is four nothing. And the United States flag gets taken right out from under their nose. And uh, the uh, England uh, team is running it back. England uh, mad, uh, mad UFO, I think, or something like that. I can't exactly make out the name from uh, where I'm sitting. Uh, he uh, had the flag. Looks like uh, he ended up getting gunned down and uh, the flag got returned to base. Um, although, no, actually, uh, Fusion from England has the flag at this point, and uh, I don't know where he is. I'm trying to find him, but uh, I don't know if he'll be able to make it back or not. Looks like, no, he just finally got uh, mowed down, got killed, uh, the flag got dropped. Uh, SSX has the flag again for the United States East, um, as well as uh, Eng England has the United States East flag again, but it got dropped again. <laughs> <laughs> this is like just a too chaotic, it just keeps on happening, it's like so and so got the flag, so and so dropped the flag, so and so got the flag, so and so dropped the flag, etc. I'm looking at the England base right now and uh, there's about uh, five people that just got killed in a row inside. I don't know if it was um, only people uh, on England that got killed here or if it was the United States East people trying to get the flag as well. They are currently repairing their inventory station trying to get it back up in line to get some uh, heavy uh, flag D there in order to prevent their flag be from being taken anymore because uh, just one more cap and that's it uh, the United States East will win it but uh, first they have to get the flag uh, right now neither team has the flag and we have about 16 minutes left in the match I really seriously doubt that this match will go 
more than another five minutes either way. Even if, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if England came back and won this thing. You know, I've seen it done before. I mean, firsthand, I've been on the team that did it. But, oh, and somebody just tried to grab the flag, but um, got uh, mortared into Gillis as he was trying to make it out the base. That was a uh, mad uh, battle two at UFO, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to ask him afterwards. I'm sure I'm screwing it up somehow. Um, he got mortared into Gillis as he was trying to escape the base. Uh, right now, neither team has the, their respective flags. Uh, they're both at the base, and... Uh, they're uh, making mad attempts to get the flags. I know England is probably in a state of desperation right now, trying to get at least one cap before they get capped out by the United States. But by no means is it guaranteed to, to go to either team at this point. Uh, oh, and uh, let's see who got mowed down right there. Uh, SSX was trying to capture the flag again, and he gets uh, chewed down by uh, chain gun fire as he's trying to escape out the uh, west side of the uh, dangerous crossing base on England's side. So right now, actually, it just got taken again. It looks like uh, Juji had it, and uh, he's uh, running it back down the uh, east side here. I can't even keep up with him. He's actually crossing over in the center. Uh, going underneath this bridge now, looks like this might just be the tying or the ending cap here. Uh, might be the game. Uh, he's uh, defending himself outside the base, running around uh, because uh, he, uh, the other, his team's flag got taken, and uh, they just returned the flag to the base. So um, both teams. Uh, oh, it looks like England actually did cap on that uh, run there. So it is now four to one. Uh, go, way to go, England. So. Hopefully uh, they'll get some more caps here before uh, the uh, the match is over. And it is just absolute chaos inside the United States East Base. I swear there is there is at least five people there just disking each other to, into oblivion. I mean, there are just so many you know discs going off. There's laser fire going everywhere. Heavy O up the wazoo, uh, attacking each base. And man, it's just. It's always like this, though, and uh, if you've ever played in a match, in an you know, actual you know, competition match on Dangerous Crossings, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, the England flag was just tried to be taken, but uh, ended up uh, about two feet away from the flag stand. It's just sitting there, not being returned yet, although it finally did get returned. Their base is completely offline with the exception of their inventory station. Their turrets are down, and uh, their plasma turret is down, and they are just right now hopefully scraping by. They actually have a flag runner coming in, so it looks like we're going to have a cap here for England if they can make it, and they do. It is now 4-2, to two. so they actually have turrets up inside their base now, too, right next to their heavy flag D, which is actually a pretty interesting tactic. Uh, usually those, those turrets will get taken out on the next run through there, but if they have uh, somebody sitting there and deploying those turrets as fast as possible, then uh, there will always be a turret there, something I personally have learned. So right now... Uh, Juji actually has the uh, the flag uh, for um, United States East, but uh, Ruwink just came through for England and grabbed the flag in a heavy, and he's heading up the west side uh, actually pretty quick. And oh, my God, there's just chain gun fire everywhere. People chasing him, and actually he gets gunned down. He loses the flag, and it's still sitting there in the field. Uh, if they return it, it's being <laughs> contested over all over the place. I think. That is the match. That is the match. Only in 12 minutes, 32 seconds, the United States East takes dangerous crossings with a score of 5-2. to two. That is the game. The United States East wins the match. Okay, so United States East uh, uh, it gets to uh, carry on to the next rung. I'm not exactly sure how this ladder works. I'd like to find out sometime in the future. But uh, I don't know if uh, England gets a double, another shot at it, if it's double elimination or not. But uh, at any rate, the, uh, the United States East has won. It was a great match on both parts, on both teams' parts, and uh, just uh, extremely chaotic, to say the least. And uh, they are thanking each other right now. They are being very good sports on both sides, um, offering up uh, their congratulations to each team. It is nice to see two teams playing so evenly matched, so well skilled on both sides. You know, I mean, that, that game could have gone to anybody, as dangerous crossings usually can. It is a very chaotic map. So that is it. Um, I will be playing some music here, but for the most part, I'm going to go offline in uh, a few songs here because we have the S3 versus, uh, um, I believe it is, uh, hold on, right in I think it's pissed off Ewoks. I want to make sure I got that right, though. Um, 
hopefully I did get that right. Uh, I can't seem to find exactly where it is that I had that written down. I know I had it written down. Anyways, it is the uh, match for the top spot in the OGL. S3 is currently at number one. I don't know what position Pissed Off Ewoks is, but um, they will be matching today. And actually, this is an interesting tidbit here. The um, USA Networks is actually in Reno, and they are going to be filming the S3 match for uh, USA Networks for a show they're doing. They actually have um, a uh, film crew who, who actually, you know, I, I'm going to say it, I, I know you guys are going to hate me for it, but they actually play Quake, and uh, they, uh, they actually are doing a show on online gaming, and even though they are, you know, Quake players, they are trying to get a fair opinion of, or a fair look at every multiplayer online game, and uh, hopefully they will give us justice and uh, do a great bit on Tribes and get us uh, some national recognition, as well as WSBN will get some re national recognition through USA Networks. Uh, don't know when exactly that is going to be broadcast. Uh, I believe it is slated for somewhere in middle of April, uh, second week of April, I believe is what Rost said. Um, at any rate, uh, look for that on the forums, on the WSBN forum. I'm sure you'll hear about it uh, through the OGL forum or the Tribal War forum or even the uh, Tribes Players Feedback forum and all the news sites like uh, Planet Star Siege. And I want, once again want to, uh, to uh, uh, thank uh, Jaykill from Planet Star Siege so much for letting us cover this um, and for having him set up the uh, Tribes World Championships in the first place. It is uh, amazing how much hard work he has done and put into this in order to get this thing together and uh, to have teams from all over the world competing against each other uh, for the uh, title of Tribes World Champion. So hopefully we'll, we'll find out exactly what happens. Uh, keep, uh, keep tuned in uh, to the uh, action uh, over at uh, teamplay.net. They have a, uh, a section totally devoted to the Tribes World Championships. So please go check that out and uh, see what other matches are uh, coming up uh, in the near future. So uh, without further ado, I will go over to some more music and uh, wrap up the show. So thank you very much for listening, and this is Teflonatron signing off on the WSBN.